Welcome to the concert hall. We made it just in time for the show. Uh, somebody turned that damn noise down. I <laughs> tried to get murdered over here. Eternally damned to the piano recital. <laughs> Look, I don't know about you, but there's nothing scarier than somebody saying that they have symphony tickets. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, you know, it's pretty calm, all things considered. We were just being chased, but it seems like Sledgehammer's kind of, you know, he, he, he's cut it out. Ooh, a guest book. I better sign. Uh, we'll save it for now. We don't need to sign the guest book. He too pro for that shit. Plus, it sounds like the concert's already going. I mean, we better oh, make it there I guess, in time for uh, the show. We just missed it, literally. Aw, oh, wolf. <laughs> no, you came in and interrupted it. You're very rude. <laughs> we were very loud opening the door. Everyone has turned and is looking at you now and judging you very harshly. Your cell phone just goes off and like, oh, wow. <laughs> it was so embarrassing that you interrupted everything that the pianist just exploded. I hope oh, you're happy. the PS was using a player piano. This is like the 1940s version of lip syncing at a concert. <laughs> <laughs> I was murdered, you know. <laughs> you should give me a higher score because of it. I was murdered, yet I still came to this contest on time, and you didn't, Alyssa. <laughs> Damn, looks like the blood's making it a little hard to play. I mean, it gets slippery. She's just like, I just want to play Ska, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You know, uh... This chapter of Flux Tower 3 is really just an adaptation of Whiplash, if you think about it. <laughs> <laughs> and so, Sledgehammer has entered the area. I love that she's just like, whenever gameplay starts, she's just like standing upright like, oh, okay. Anyways, um, Sledgehammer's not rude. He doesn't go backstage. <laughs> uh, so, like, do you just have to, like... Are you just, like, reading the instruction manual? Is that where you're learning his name is Sledgehammer? Or is this just shorthand uh, you came up with? Uh, th th that is his name. It'll eventually come up. Okay. It's actually, a uh, Greg Sledgehammer. <laughs> I feel like it wasn't much of a spoiler. <laughs> Anyways, if you, dr if you just mess with the stage, the stage stuff back uh, in the back, you can find this man. <laughs> his torso is crushed to death. Probably wasn't my fault, though. That combination of prop <laughs> animation and the music sting just made me think there was a scene from Ill Bleed. <laughs> hey, babe, you're dead. Is this leak speak? <laughs> yeah, that's what this is. That's right, safe combinations are bad. They should just give out the money to everyone. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> you kill another man. Now, make sure to move this up before you leave. Hmm. But also, don't leave, because uh, the, the killer's still out there. He's like, my name is Sledgehammer, just so you know. <laughs> if you just sit in a, sa in a, in a safe spot long enough, uh, the, the murderer will just leave. <laughs> well, that's awfully nice of him. Yeah, so uh, I, I did cut out like 10 or 15 seconds of me just standing in the back. <laughs> you can tell because you hear like the the teleporting sound and then the the music stops and that gives you like a decent amount of time to just, you know, kind of do whatever. Hey, come on, chirps, don't spoil the magic. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sledgehammer's just like, "Well, I murdered my daughter a second time, so I guess there's nothing <laughs> else to do here." Anyways, this uh this code's a little tricky because they start from 0 instead of 1, so A is 0. Oh. But you just spell out bad, and then you get to take a thing. Look! Oh, the M stands for Michael Jackson. That's why it was the bad <laughs> key. <laughs> oh my god. If anyone in the thread starts talking about how it must start from zero, fuck off. Stop. <laughs> Coders are not welcome here. Fucking nerds. Anyways, that's the door we can use the key on. I'm sorry to dox you, but both of you are coders. You are not free of sin. <laughs> hey, hey. 
we we deal with what we've been given. We don't make the rules. We understand our sins. Yeah, like all good horror protagonists. You had to watch every episode of Code Monkeys as penance. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, I got her! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, when he drops from the ceiling, you're basically at peak uh, panic. So you gotta make sure not to get hit by him at this point. And it's gonna be a little hard because when we get in this hallway, at the end, the door is blocked by a, uh, by a, uh, a sigil. Oh, we can I... hide in here, in the locker. But unfortunately, uh, he's a little quick, and he saw me. Are you sure he's a little quick and not just not a complete idiot? <laughs> so if if a if a if a killer is outside of the room when you uh, when you get in hiding, they won't be able to find you. But as soon as they see you, that's when things go bad. And that's why I'm using all these items. I just love the, the like the mental image of her like in uh, like a locker and seeing somebody like come up and she just like starts rubbing the oil on herself real fast. Like, oh no, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I need these soothing salts right now. I just like the fact that when you enter panic mode in this, Alyssa starts running like fucking Shaggy do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. It's a nice touch. And it kind of, it, it becomes way harder to control. Like, you'll stop periodically to, like, shiver in fear and stuff while your uh, panic meter goes down. It's, uh, it so can be pretty frightening. So you become Shaggy-Doo. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, in Japan, this was actually a Scooby-Doo video game. They just had to, like, <laughs> change it up for the West. Yeah. Yeah, like, that was the... Uh, Battle Royale directors, like, uh, you know, Dream Job, making a Scooby-Doo video game. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we've, uh, we found a little, a little free time here, and, uh, what better to find backstage than matches? Let's burn the building down. I mean, at this point, that seems like it might actually be the best, uh, course of action. Oh no, it's the <laughs> clock tower! <laughs> oh god! Well, thankfully, if we go back in here, there's a uh, there's an evade point. <laughs> I was really hoping she'd like <laughs> she'd like open it up and there'd just be a machine gun in it. <laughs> See how we just throw the violin and everything drops on him? Oh. So, while we're talking about controls, this little bit here, uh, there is a dedicated crawl button specifically for things like this, where they're too small for you to walk through. And the first time I played this, I didn't know about the violin, and it turns out, uh, Sledgehammer cannot go over that wall. He can't crawl through it either. So that's, like, a really easy way to get away from him. <laughs> you just have to be able to juke him, because he will hit you while you're, uh, trying to crawl through. God, how did this guy kill anyone? Just the, all the Meverse posts are like, why can't Sledgehammer crawl? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so now we have a, a pretty a pretty easy time getting back to where we were. So we did need to come to this section first for the matches. If you go the other way, uh, you'll figure out that you can't get any matches. <laughs> and you'll have to do this whole section again. <laughs> Pretty classic sort of, I feel, clock tower style adventure game puzzle. No, that is the most <laughs> oh, game <fuck>. design. <laughs> <laughs> so the game does sometimes have like directed moments where uh, like Sledgehammer or any of the killers will pop out. Like that door and that drop when we went through the door the first time mm -hmm. are both like scripted events. But otherwise, he'll just randomly show up from doors in rooms that you're in. So... If you didn't act, if you were like playing this for the first time, you didn't know that that was going to happen. Like, what's your estimation for how many times you would actually die in this in this area? Because your your panic has shot up a lot of times. Yeah, I feel like it's pretty easy to either like use all your items or die in this if you're not like prepared for some of these. Anyways, we needed the matches so that we could light that lantern so we could walk over this uh, this plank. She's just like, I don't know, like, what direction this plank is going in. I mean, she's not the fucking daredevil. 
In addition to the crawl button, you also have a dedicated walk button, which won't activate any of the traps on the floor, like the bottles and stuff, and also lets you walk over this without dying. Hmm. Wait, if you just run on it, does she just, like... Does it she might just, not like... actually let you run on it. Okay. But um, when, while you're walking on it, three times randomly going either direction, um, the, it, you will, like, start shaking and the controller will vibrate. And um, if you move during that bit, you'll fall to your death. Okay. Anyways, I sat here for a second to get my panic meter down again because... Again, I'm aware of what what needs to be happening here. So, how big was your panic meter IRL? Because uh, while you recorded this game, you told me a lot of times that you are a coward. Yeah, no. Um, this game gives me a lot of anxiety just because of not not because it's like scary, but because the the threat of randomly having like sledgehammer drop on you from anywhere, just like. It's really about the anticipation mm -hmm. of the scare. The threat of getting killed on camera and losing your pro gamer card. Yeah, like, right. uh, your biggest fear is that Sledgehammer is gonna show up to your door and say, Chirps, I'm your new stepdaddy. <laughs> 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 but, uh, I have a lot of anxiety recording my LPs, too. Like, I was, like, scared shitless last time I played Donkey Kong Country. Right, no, I get it. <laughs> Now the LP archive. <laughs> but yeah, so to show off the invisibility band, you just gotta get to escape uh, for a while. He can sort of follow you, like he sort of knows when you open doors and stuff, but for the most part, you're you're free to just kind of walk circles around him. He's like, she turned into a butterfly. Wow. <laughs> so those butterflies are actually now like an alternative obstacle. Uh, in, in levels, they'll be flying around, and if you they touch you, you'll uh, Alyssa will panic for a bit, and her panic meter will rise quite a bit. <laughs> she just hates bugs. <laughs> also, if you're hiding, they can alert the killers to your location. And like, so if you're in the locker and like a, a butterfly follows you, it, it'll be that they uh, the the killer will know where you are and like kind of get rid of your hiding spot. Wow, the zones. God, butterflies are assholes. <laughs> yeah, they really are. Anyways, we're all done here because we got a pair of pliers. <laughs> That's all we need to come to the concert hall for. Oh wait, but it locks you in unless you have the master key? Yeah, so that that means that you can't leave until you've like kind of figured out more of the puzzle in this uh in this area. Well, you get the master key pretty early on, so you could just leave. You could just leave, but you don't get anywhere with it. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. Hey, asshole, I'm trying to <laughs> save here. Be really good if you just like put the game down for a while, then you come back like, oh no, Sledgehammer's <laughs> right there. He starts so, old age. Uh, <laughs> one of my favorite thing about Sledgehammer is that he runs like he just shed his pants and is really embarrassed <laughs> about it, like trying to go to a bathroom, <laughs> but he doesn't want right? anyone to know. Like, that's why he's trying to kill you, because you, like, you, uh, you're gonna tell everybody that he shit his pants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there you saw the butterfly in action. If it touches you, Alyssa stops for a second, and your panic goes up. Anyways, what we got these pliers are for takes place back in the, uh, the tailor shop. We have to go back to where we first met our good friend Sledgehammer. <laughs> when he confessed to his crime. <laughs> right. <laughs> when he helped solve a mystery. I thought you said, Alyssa, I love you. <laughs> I know we have a lot of fun hanging out and stuff, and I just want you to know that. <laughs> so yeah, there's just some barbed wire set up in this house, and we need the pliers to well, get rid it, of it. It's a tailor's place. You get it. Right. Anyway, Sledgehammer won't follow us in here, so we're Also, fine. wouldn't you want wire cutters and not fucking pliers? <laughs> Look. You work with what you got. Yeah, I, I'm not going to judge Alyssa for, you know, for not having the optimal tool. She has really good wrist strength. Anyways, there's something on the mantelpiece. And it's shiny, so we know we got to interact with it. It's a newspaper article saying how much this guy hates his daughter. 
<laughs> You're not playing that hippity hop music, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Someday Skrillex is going to remix this. <laughs> I have to tell you something important. There's a war on. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You'll remember, this is taking place in 1942. So, is Sledgehammer just him, like he came home with PTSD? This is just how he copes with it. I guess we'll find out, huh? Yes, yes I will. But no. Oh. In the whole world. But don't worry. Daddy, don't forget the piano concourse is on Christmas Eve. The winner will have their performance aired on the radio. I'll practice really hard and win the contest so that you can hear me when you're out in the war. That would be wonderful. Unfortunately, we already know the outcome to this story. She got second place. That's right, two more years of war, baby. <laughs> right, if they had played her song, Hitler would have heard it and been like, I've made a horrible mistake. <laughs> <laughs> you told me this watch was a present. Her play would have been so bad he committed suicide early. <laughs> it was a present from a mummy. Wow. <laughs> no wonder she's cursed. <laughs> she's like, Daddy, I'm working on the song. It's called You Can Be My Sledgehammer. <laughs> <laughs> now we just have to play uh, two levels of Call of Duty, big red one. <laughs> <laughs> wow, war seems like fun. And there goes daddy. <laughs> How tragic. Ah. Now I see why they call that war the big one. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea that like this pocket watch like kept taking bullets for him, but eventually it just gave out. <laughs> and so we retrieved the sentimental item for this level. And here we get to learn more about the hammer killer. Everybody wanted to go see this guy get hanged, but, like, some people just couldn't handle it, I guess. What? How did this man kill 12 people when he's always, like, shouting and screaming? <laughs> he's just like... <laughs> he got caught because he just said, I murdered them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as soon as they found him, it was an open shut case. Like, it was... It, it was really easy. It was just, you know, didn't really think to turn himself in, I guess. So did the girl get murdered during the concert, and that's why she only got second place? <laughs> Is after. But yeah, so uh, in each level, kind of like with the individual spirits in each level, the the, uh, the the goal is to grab a sentimental item involving the main character, in this case, May, and return it to them to ease their troubled spirit. So, uh, what they don't tell you in that newspaper article is that, uh, Sledgehammer is actually the Nazi that blew up, uh, Alyssa's dad. Or, not Alyssa. Piano May. girl. May. Whatever. Thank you. <laughs> Names are fake. Anyways, it's awfully quiet. Seems like Sledgehammer gave up pretty easily, so this should be an open and shut case. He also had to go off to war. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh-oh, a cutscene. <laughs> hey, 
pay. <laughs> you got a ticket. I can't get it anymore. You got a you got a wristband. You need one to get back in. <laughs> Why? Why did you kill her? So yeah, if you noticed, he uh, it said he was killed in 1941, but we're in 1942. Anyways, welcome to boss battles. <laughs> <laughs> listen, so, listen carefully. I'm gonna explain how to both duck and shoot an arrow. I liked how part of his uh, boss intro was using the uh, fountain as a bidet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it deals with the fact that he shot himself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so... Um, unlike other Clock Tower games, uh, there are segments of this game where you do get to fight back against the monsters chasing you. Alyssa just turns into a magical girl and starts shooting <laughs> glowing arrows, I guess. Well, how about you just hold on for a fucking second, Jay? <laughs> you know, it's like, uh, Clock Tower Ghost Hat, where you could finally take it to those damn killers by just shooting them with a gun. <laughs> yeah, but this is much cooler. I don't know, guns pretty cool. Oh, ducks can be used to avoid certain attacks. That's right. Keep that in mind. It'll come up in this boss fight. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, Jay. What was that about magical girls? <laughs> The thing that signals the start of a magical tr girl transformation is always that the sky just turns to piss. <laughs> <laughs> she just starts chugging it. <laughs> the sky? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, this bottle of holy water. <laughs> wow, it's just like Madoka. <laughs> this game's so fucking stupid. Guys, I'm absolutely terrified right now. What? He only uh, killed like 15! He killed 12 people before death and 20 and 14 more after death. <laughs> oh my yeah. god, that owns. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. <laughs> yeah, the number of years their sentences, their health bar, it's so fucking cool. All of a sudden, this just became like fucking evil zone. <laughs> <laughs> so in this section, uh, you are meant to shoot arrows at them and kind of figure out their uh, attack patterns. It's pretty simple for Sledgehammer here. Um, you can charge up your uh, bow and arrow attack to multiple levels, and they'll do mul they'll do extra damage the longer you charge it up, culminating in an attack that will like bind them to a particular area, which you'll see in just a sec once he does uh, one of his bigger attacks. Here we go. So you duck to uh, not get knocked over by the shock waves, uh, okay. and he'll stay for a while. Well, you you know, you level yourself. Right. And now you can see that he's stuck by, like, a you know, an energy chain to that one area. So now we can just kind of go to town on him. Um, if you don't put up new chains uh, within a certain amount of time, like, Five, ten seconds, he'll break out and start doing his uh, his normal routine again. So it seems like you're doing a very low amount of damage, though. Yeah, well, thankfully, once you have enough chains, you get the finishing move. Or I guess it's not a finishing move; it's a super move. Time for the fucking Eden summoning uh, animation. <laughs> Rest of the video. <laughs> Welcome to Knights of the Rounds. Like, that just kind of sounded like the THX uh, intro before a movie theater. <laughs> and there's all the health. <laughs> so, yeah, pretty easy first boss fight, but like. It can take a bit as you're, like, trying to get used to the controls the first time you've played <laughs> it. He's like, thank you, Alyssa, now I can go to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> I've got bad news, Sledgehammer. No, no, it turns out that uh, 
Heaven is for the bad guys and hell is for the good guys. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. He was real into jewelry. <laughs> and so we received the first part of the clover. Uh, it'll take a while for us to learn the importance of that, but just, you know, keep it in the back of your mind. Oh wow, now we can hold, uh, four bottles of holy water. Yeah, you can hold an extra, uh, holy water charge. And, there's no murderer to stop us, so we can finally hear the end of this beautiful performance. I see why she got second place. Don't feel too bad. Your dad died in the war. <laughs> <laughs> now you, your dad, and Sledgehammer can be together in heaven. <laughs> your father is dead. Ah, oh, cool. More great news. Awesome. <laughs> Not only did I get second, but also... <laughs> Please don't cry. I understand how you feel. Look. It's okay. They said that the only reason he died is because he didn't hear your piano song on the radio. <laughs> he died of a broken heart. Keep this watch. And a lot of external energies. Continue to practice the piano as hard as you can. <laughs> as hard as you can without fingers and all. <laughs> and also with being dead, you know. <laughs> Alyssa's is like, I did good work here today. <laughs> I made a dead girl even more depressed. <gasps> May. Daddy! <laughs> Thank you, May. Your beautiful playing is. <laughs> <laughs> you were able to finish the song, and th therefore I was allowed to come back down from heaven. I was actually hanging out with uh, the first place girl for a while, but I realized it wasn't you, so. <laughs> she <trusted> me. <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> You're the coolest! Bye. You did a good deed today and immediately died. Me, after I do, like, literally anything. I'm uh, all out of here. three fucking rules. <laughs> She's like, I had the strangest dream. You were there, Mr. Blobby Man. <laughs> <laughs> and you were there, Sledgehammer Killer. What was that? It's a pillow. I've been dreaming. <laughs> Mr. Blobby Man walks into the room, yells, Turn that piano the fuck down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to watch the game. <laughs> <laughs> the game is esports. <laughs> well, of course. <laughs> 